Hey y'all, what's going on Flyers? A little vlog today. Um, it's pretty cold in my house right now. My hands are slowing down movement. Well, it's not really that cold, but you know, it's definitely not house temperature. I'm in my normal attire of sweatshirt, sweatpants, and don't forget the socks and sandals. This time we have, we're rocking black attire. We got the right, and then does this one? Nope, that one's, <laughs> I got the, I don't really know why they say right, right. You know, it really doesn't matter for me. Uh, but pretty much in today's vlog, we're going to be trying to start a fire. Now, I've been getting, you know, a lot better with starting fires, but I still have some trouble. So pretty much this vlog will be like, or vlog. Yeah, I'm talking to you. I had this guy commented, he was like, for the love of God, it's not V-log, it's vlog. I'm like, well, you know, at least that's the only thing that annoys you in life. Because you probably have a really good life, don't you? All right, uh, but <laughs> uh, pretty much I'm going to be setting up the fire the way I normally do. And if you guys have any tips or, you know, tricks or fly, you're doing it completely wrong, you're an idiot, let me know because, it, you know, it'd be great to be able to start a fire super quick. So let's get into it. So I got my logs. I don't know if you guys can see it. I got my logs, got some starter. I use cardboard for starter fuel. I mean, this is a lot of starter fuel. I'm not really going to use all this, hopefully. Um, but usually what I do is that I set up, here, I'll just do it right now. Um, let's see, let's see, let's use this one. I don't really like that piece, but we will. Yeah, so we're going to use this one. And we're going to set it in the back, kind of like a prop. Uh, no, this one's too, not uh, triangle enough. Um, this one. No, this one's too big. Uh, yeah, this one's fine. This one's fine. So we'll set this one up kind of like on its, on its triangle like tip right here in the back like that, like so. You guys see that? And then we're going to take a flat piece of wood kind of like this. You see that? And then we're going to stick it right here. There we go. So, so this is really high. This is low. Um, and then we're going to take another piece. Not this one. That one's a really good piece right here. This is our X factor, what I call it. I'll show you why. All right. And then we're going to use this one. We're going to put that one right here. So now uh, we'll use this one. We'll use the bark for later. Um, so now we have a little bit, we have a piece of wood right here, one right in the below, right here. You guys can see, it's kind of hard to see, but maybe the flash, there we go, right there. Come on, and then we have this one right here. So it's kind of like, why am I, why, why am I breathing so hard? I think I'm talking, I'm moving. So it, it goes like, oh, hi, Baba. Hi, Baba. So it, it uh, goes like this, down, level, up, and that. And then that's because I want to put another piece in there and then create a little pocket of um, area to where it's really, really hot in there and oxygen also gets to that piece. So we'll put this one right on top, hopefully perfect. And there we go. So now we have, just in my, my knowledge of fire building, um, that we have a, a wood bottom so that can also catch fire. We have a nice little uh, pit right here that can get really hot. And then we have an exit point in the back for the fire to engulf the wood from the back and not just the front. All right, so we're going to rip up our cereal box here. It's a little pieces, kind of like this, so right here. Why don't you recycle it? Why don't you recycle it? Well, sorry, I have to heat my house with fire. I need to start it. All right, so we're gonna take these pieces. We're gonna put them kind of in the middle of this arrangement here. Kind of like in that little dip I was saying. Just enough to where it can start and once it does start, it can get really, really hot. Perfect. So now we're going to take our quick starter fuel, I like to call it. And like, you know, tissue paper, you know, just something, something that can light really quick. Kind of stuff it in there, like so. Okay. Get another piece right here. All right, we got a lighter. Fuego. Smoke weed every day. And just start it light and just light it, you know what I'm saying? Let's let it go. Take a little bit. Take a little 
little bit to get started because it's kind of not, not, not the biggest pocket I would like it to be. Oh, my sandal just came off. We'll use our, strucky, our, our trusty stick right here that I've used for many years building fires. Kind of get, get, make a little bit of air pocket in there so that, that this can burn properly. That's perfect. So it needs to get hot enough for the cardboard to light. And once the cardboard lights, what it is, which it is right now, it's going to start heating the wood at higher temperatures than the paper wood because it can sustain a longer burn, if you will. All right, so there we go. Oh, that's looking really good so far. And that crackling is the wood heating up or like the water in it uh, being, I guess, uh, exited out of the wood by the heat. It's not burning the camera though. So whatever that popping happens, guys, if you do want to blow on it, you got to close your eyes because that stuff can, with it getting so hot, the, the, the popping can, so stuff, you know, it pops, so something has to exit the wood. And sometimes it goes right into your eyes or, or gets close to it. So you want to keep your eyes closed when you blow on the wood. <laughs> so now we're going to add a little bit more into it. Sorry, I put the camera down to do this. Let's be quick. Add a little bit more. It kind of looks like we suffocate the fire, but we won't. The, the, the cardboard will burn pretty quick. We got a little bit of fire in the back. Now, so we still have our X Factor wood right there, this little piece right here that will carry our fire to victory. Oh, hello. So this is what I pretty much do every morning before I get on my computer. I really do enjoy, you know, fires. I, I, was, I was a pyro when I was little. I still am today. So I'm stepping a little bit back because, oh, it's getting hot in there. So now we can close one of the doors and that will um, enable the chimney, or for the fire to use more of the chimney oxygen or just pull it up a little bit more. So we'll get even hotter right here. So our fire looks like it's already developed. I don't think it needs any more cardboard, but I'm gonna put one little smaller piece in there just to ensure that we have a hot enough area for the fire to develop. All right guys, so I wanna show you guys why I call this the X Factor wood. We can see the fire is going pretty good right now. And so I like to put this piece kind of in when the fire is developed. And this is because, I don't really know why, but I found out that this works like this. That just to get another piece in there, just kind of on top, uh, um, like kind of like a T on the top piece of the wood and that allows another fuel source for the uh, uh, For the fire to burn on other than what's inside right here. And so with that saying the fire gets really hot really quickly So I think that's a successful fire boys You ever see that pop right there? I'm kind of standing back right now. So now we're gonna close this door This thing's gonna get really hot 60 FPS, I'm just kidding And see, so my, my theory behind the X-Factor wood is that it pulls flames from the bottom hotter and then it has another fuel source so the flames from the bottom pull are pulled higher. I don't really know. You know, I'm not a, you know, fire expert at all, but. So I'm making this video. If any tips and tricks you guys have, that'd be awesome. Oh yeah, and we can add this bark in there now. This is, this catches really easily. Be right there. Oh, well, that's perfect. That's going to catch too. We put we put the bark right on the top. So yeah, boys, that's how I heat my house. Uh, that the stove. Oh my gosh, that was a weird sound. Yeah, th this stove could heat the whole house in uh, 
um, negative temperatures, which because if, if you get really hot, it can blow out air almost up to like 200 degrees. It's really hot air. Like once this thing gets going, you do not want to put your hand around that vent because how how this thing heats my house. I don't know if you guys know this, is that it has a little fan right, or actually it's a big fan right here. This is pretty much like a thermostat. So you turn this on, you hear the, the, the well, the fan start going. And what this does, maybe the, the camera will pick up the, uh, the sound of the wind. But it blows air out of here into the house. Um, and then so you can, you can control how much air comes out or how much. Oh, sorry. How little and how much. For right now, we're not gonna blow any air because this is not hot enough at all. Uh, still kicking. So we're going to close this, allow for this fire to get really hot, and hopefully next time we check it, it'll be ready for the furnace. Well, all right, guys, it's been probably about 10 minutes since I... All right, guys, so it's been probably about 10 minutes since the last time I checked the fire. We're going to see how it's doing. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a fire. So right now we're going to add two more logs to bring it into a very hot state. Um, oh, <laughs> Hello, cutie. What are you doing, huh? What are you doing? Are you looking outside, Nana? That's very good, Baba. That's very good, Baba. Baba, say hi. That's very good, girl. All right, so we're gonna go outside. I'm actually running low on wood right now. Oh, beautiful out here. Ain't nothing but me. And some car noises. See, I'm running on low on wood. Uh, these are cedar chips on the ground. These are to stop bugs and uh, fleas and stuff from, you know, living in the wood. Okay, so this piece. Th these are what I call trash pieces. Like pieces that I really don't like. I mean, like this, you really can't start a fire with that good because it's round. I don't know. I don't like to use them for starting wood or starting fires, but I do like uh, them when, uh, I do like to use them when I'm, when the fire is going. So we'll grab one of those and we'll grab this one right here. I want one more, but we'll, we'll get that later. All right, this is kind of hard to do. It's a habit of mine. I don't really know why I do that. All right, so we're coming back to the fire. Get out of here, Baba! Run away! Ah! Okay, so we're gonna set one piece right here. Kind of careful we don't want to knock the fire uh th this piece of wood is pretty moist it's been uh it's been kind of wet around here all right that's a good piece and this one will go right on top of that all right there we go fire is now set those two pieces will bring the fire into a very high temperature state See how hot the stove is though right now. Well, let's test it. If it can boil water, it's time. Oh my god, look how dirty my, my kitchen is. So we'll saw. So we're grabbing some water for science. This is a science project too. Alright, here we go. Oops, sorry guys. Be quiet. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, it's really hot over this corner. Oh, we got the, it got the camera lens foggy. Yeah, so I think it's, oh my God, look at that stuff go. Yeah, it's ready to boil, or uh, it's, it's ready to, uh, I think the fan to turn on now. 
I'm gonna put this back. I'm gonna do the dishes tomorrow. You know, that's what you always say, dude. Just do it tomorrow. No one's gonna care. All right. So now we're gonna turn it on. Oh, that is super hot. That is really hot air. So now what I do to warm up the house quickly, Baba, come here, come here, come here, 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 come on. Good girl, she listens. So I close this door, because this is the bedroom right now. See that, this is the bedroom. I close this door, because I'm not, I usually don't sleep in heat at all. I don't like to sleep uh, in, in heat, so I like to keep it kind of cool. Um, and then right here, I will be grabbing this blanket, and hopefully you guys will see what I, I will be doing. Eh, not really. Maybe right here. Yeah, this would be good. So I grab this blanket. We have two little hooks right here. I put it up like there. Oh. And then that stops because a lot of a lot of the what's up? A lot of the can you see me? A lot of the hot air stays up here portion. A lot of the cold air transfers down here. So this really a lot, a lot of the hot air doesn't exit to the bottom, it exits to the top. So that keeps the uh, the uh, living room and the office really warm. So yeah. That's creating a fire of fly daily. Hope you guys haven't, there we go. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Um, please leave that feedback if you guys have any experience with wood stoves or whatnot uh, to maybe help my process of heating the house even more efficient. All right guys, peace out.